So today we're gonna to be looking at how to reset your long-term fuel trims. The reason why we would do that is because your ECU for your car, it tends to learn your driving style. Meaning, if you're very heavy-footed like I am, if you're a very aggressive driver, um, it's gonna learn that and it's gonna just constantly give you like lots of fuel, right? It's gonna adjust that air-fuel ratio for you. Compared to if you're like a 90-year-old driver, right? It is gonna adjust it a little more conservatively. We wanna change that. We wanna reset that back to a factory setting so we can increase our miles per gallon. First thing is locate the mass airflow sensor and pop off this connector for the mass airflow sensor and then from there we just want to start the car now it is going to run a little bit choppy because we don't have the mass airflow sensor connected right start the car it is going to throw a service engine soon light it is going to throw an error that's what we want. We want the car to read this without any mass airflow sensor at all. We want it to have a baseline right run the engine for about 10 seconds like this And then at that point, let's go ahead and shut everything back off. And then real simple, we just need to go reconnect that connector for the mass airflow sensor. Let's turn the car right back on to see if the service engine soon light is on. It is, we have the light on. All right guys, so the check engine light is on here. I need to shut that off. Let's go ahead and shut the car off. And then we're gonna do that little uh, erase step that I talked about before. So remember the numbers that we talked about. We talked about three, five, 10, 12, 10, 10. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. One, two, three, four, five. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, eight, thousand nine, thousand ten. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten, thousand eleven, thousand twelve, thousand one, thousand two. 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. Let off, shut off the ignition switch, give it just a second, and this thing should be shut off. Let's check. There you go, guys. So again, this was because we did the long-term fuel trim reset. The question is, what the heck does that even mean? Your ECU for your car, it learns your driving habits. So in my case, I tend to drive pretty aggressively. A lot of that's because of where I live. I have to. The ECU learns that and it adjusts the air fuel ratio accordingly. It's, it's like it knows I'm driving, right? Compared to somebody, let's say, who's, uh, uh, you know, 90 year old, uh, going to the grocery store once a month, something like this, they probably drive pretty calmly. They're probably not putting it to the floor, things like that. The ECU will learn that and it'll adjust the air fuel ratios for that specific driver. The issue with that is that after a while, um, if you're like me and you drive heavy footed everywhere, your car just wants to dump fuel all the time. You tend to get very, very bad gas mileage. I want to change that. If we reset that long-term fuel trim, uh, basically what we can do is we can reset it back to a factory like baseline, and then it'll relearn based off of your driving habits. Now, in my case, I'm getting really awful gas mileage here, guys. 20.8 miles per gallon is not what you should be getting with this type of an engine. This is a QR25DE. For anybody that doesn't know, that's the engine that's in the Nissan Sentras, the Spec Vs, it's in the Nissan Rogues, it's in Altimas, it's in several vehicles, right? This engine should be getting about 20. 28 miles per gallon on kind of a bad day like on a good day you should be getting maybe a little bit better long story short 20 miles per gallon is not going to do it for me i reset the long-term fuel trim again what we do is we we uh, disconnect the mass airflow sensor connector start the car let it run for 10 seconds shut the car off plug the mass airflow sensor connector back in Start the car to make sure you actually have a code. In my case, I did. Shut the car off and then do that service engine soon code reset that I showed you. That's where you count to, you know, three, press the gas pedal five times hard and fast, count to 10, press it to the floor, count to 12, release it, count to 10, press it to the floor, count to 10, release it. That actually does work, guys. I know it sounds crazy. So long story short, just wanted to share that with you. It's something where you can save a couple of bucks on gasoline, especially right now where gas is like five bucks or six bucks a gallon. What the heck? I would say, um, you know, reset those long-term fuel trims and see if that helps. Now this should work between like, oh, four 
So probably about 2016 Nissans. I know it works for the 1.8 motors. That's the um, QG18DE Nissan motor that's in their Sentras and some other cars. I know it works on the 2.5 motor. That's the QR25DE. That's again also in the Sentra, the Altima, the Rogues, things like that. So anyway, hope that helps you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.